Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How are you? Let's tap into this energy. See if it changed. See if it stayed the same. Right, we're going to do a bonus read for Virgo. Okay, come through, spirit. What message do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, and rising. Virgo energy for popular demand. What messages do you have for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got a request. Can I do Virgo readings every day? My love, that sounds wonderful. I'm going to try, but I don't, I'm don't. i not going to make no promises, okay? Mm -mm. No, I got, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to throw them out to you as much as I can, but I can't do it every day. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to get it out to you. Before you start missing one, I'm going to try to have another one come up for you. How about that? I don't think I can do it every day. You know, I still got to work. I got to go to work. All right, spirit, come through. Can I have some messages for Virgo, please? Virgo energy. All right, first position, Virgo. You have... The Ace of Cups. Wow, look at that. Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. You also have the Four of Cups. Okay. You have the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. You have the Moon card. Okay. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have the Five of Cups. Okay, let me move that down a little bit. How's that? Is that on your eye shot? Good. You have the Five of Wands. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands. You have the Two of Cups. We have the King of Swords. Oh, we have the Sun. Okay, Virgo. Okay. And we have the Three of Cups. Give me a minute. Let me look this over. Mm -hmm. Virgo Energy, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so we have one, two, is that it? Yeah, that's all we got. We're going to take it, too. Yeah, we have one, two majors, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it looks like you have the emperor. This is somebody that's in power, somebody that's in charge, okay? Somebody that's, you know, um, very demanding, very controlling, okay? A big man, power man, you know? Um this person wants some type of father figure or something. Somebody, you know, that uh, could be um, somebody who wants um, or has con control over you or or um, wants control over you, who wants to uh, lead this uh, situation or this relationship or situation, whatever you guys call it. Some This person feels that they're in charge of it or something like that. That's good. This person also may be married, okay, because the emperor normally is. But this is somebody who wants full control. Control of you, control of their emotions, control of this whole situation. Yeah, this is somebody in power, too. This is somebody that's a leader, gets a lot of respect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see his face, very stern. Mm -hmm. uh, very... Um, I should say, uh, privileged, okay? Mm -hmm. This is somebody who thinks the world revolves around them, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And next you have uh, the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? So this person is no longer trying to come towards you to show you love or offer you love or something like that. This person is, isn't making any moves towards you. Mm -hmm. This person is trying to stay in control of their emotions, okay? Yeah, they're trying to have strength. You have the um, 
nine of uh, wands here. This person is trying to be strong. This person is trying to tolerate whatever it is that they're going through, but yet they're still holding on. This is a big burden for them, but yet they're still holding on. This person looks like they're in a commit. They were once in a relationship with you that you no longer want, and this person is trying to have strength enough to not sweat it, not pursue you, not chase you, but yet they're still holding on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're losing strength. You see that strength card is in reverse. This looks like somebody that still wants to be with you, but you don't want to be with them. And they're trying not to uh, embarrass themselves. They're trying They're trying not to make a spectacle of themselves. And they're trying to stay in control of their emotions. They're trying to keep it together, but they're really losing it. Okay, first position, you have the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who's very emotional over you. This person wants to make you, make you some kind of uh, offer. They want a new beginning with you. Okay, this may be somebody who once rejected you with this Four of Cups right next to it. Okay, yeah, this is somebody who wants back in. Mm -hmm. This person wants a, wants a do-over, and I think they may be a little too late because you also have the Six of Swords right there. You're moving on. You're moving on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because this person now wants to make you an offer. This person now wants, wants to make you an offer of love, Ace of Cups. They want to make you an offer of commitment, um, make you an offer of a new beginning, a commitment. Um, this is a new, new opportunity to have some kind of uh, love flourishing with them or something like that. Okay, and again, this is somebody who may they have rejected you, mm -hmm. but since you're moving on or you already have moved on secretly in secret too, you're not even letting this person know that you, that you're gone. You're not communicating with this person, but about your moves at all. Okay. So, so some of you may have moved on, may have walked away from this, uh, person that in power this person is in control this person who's trying to have full control over this over their emotions this person don't want to show you that they're crushed this person don't want to show you that their feelings are hurt their pride is hurt their ego is hurt no 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 they don't want to show you that mm -mm. this person wants to act like nothing is okay if you don't want me i don't want you but they, their world is their world is crushed they're not taking this well at all mm -hmm. and a lot of you are walking away you done packed your shit and you left you're leaving this energy or or you spiritually left this energy, you mentally left this energy, if you haven't physically left this energy yet, but you will. And you're doing it in secret with that moon card right there. Yeah, you're no longer talking to this person, okay? You don't, You may have cut this person off. You ain't got nothing to say to him with that Queen of Swords energy. Very cold, very distant, very uh, defensive energy you're in right now. Mm -hmm. And this person is uh, having a great deal of shame and regret with this Five of Cups. Lord, this person is embarrassed. Mm -hmm. This is a, This person is embarrassed. Okay, this person lost a really good uh, opportunity with you. This person lost a really good connection with you. They don't know how to apologize about it or or for it. They don't know how to mend this or something like that. They don't know how to come forward and try to fix this or rectify this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they want to fight for you, though. They do want to fight for you. Okay. They do want to fight for this connection with you. You have the five of wands right here. Okay. They do want to fight for this and they want to talk to you. You got fast communication coming to you. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear something unique from this person, something different, something you've never heard before. This person is going to say something to you that they've never said to anybody. They certainly never said it to you. You're bringing this out of this person by being so cold and distant and trying to get the hell away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're walking in silence. You're staying to yourself. You have nothing to say to this person. Mm -mm. You're staying very private. Mm -hmm. You're keeping everything in secret. You're moving in silence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this person wants to come in and give you fast communication because they can't stop thinking about you. Good Lord, somebody's getting a really good taste of their own medicine. Mm -hmm. You have pulled uh, uh, them on them, okay? This person did this to you first, okay? You was offering this person love, this person love. That your cup running over for that person. You was offering them love. You was offering them commitment. You was offering them a relationship. You wanted more with that person. You couldn't get enough of this person. This person rejected you. This person walked away from you and left you high and dry in secret, okay? This person was cold and distant to you, okay? Now the tables have turned. The, the roles has flipped, Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now you're, they're feeling like you were feeling. Now you're done. Now you don't want no parts of this. Ay, ay, ay. This person can't stop thinking about you though. And this person definitely wants to talk to you. 
They definitely wants to talk to you. You got communication coming in, and you have the King of Swords. They want to. This person wants to explain their side of the story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, not indirectly. They don't want to indirectly give you an explanation or or an apology, but they do want you to hear how what what's so, what's so in their mind. This person is trying to come up with with some elaborate, uh, charming. Uh, speech for you, something that they feel is going to work, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you could care less. You could take it or leave it at this point. You guys are in a really good energy. You have moved on. You guys feel better since you pulled back from this person, since you have moved on from this person, since you have cut this person off, okay? A lot of blessings has been coming to you. I see that with this sun card right here, Virgo. A lot of blessings is opening up to you. A lot of opportunities are opening up to, um, for you. Some of you guys may even have new love, okay? Not necessarily from this person who wants to come and bring it to you, but you might have new love coming in anyway from someone totally different. Because I see you got a great deal of love and joy and emotional fulfillment, positive energy coming towards you. This is where you're heading, okay? You're headed towards a great deal of uh, emotional fulfillment, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got something to celebrate here, Virgo. You guys are going to be celebrating something soon. Some sort of victory, okay? Yeah, you got you got some friends and family coming over. And you're going to be celebrating something. You might be celebrating a graduation. You might be celebrating a, um, uh, mm, some sort of victory. Spirit, what are they celebrating? This is, a, this is something that you are very happy about, okay? Uh, maybe some of you are getting a divorce, maybe celebrating that being single and a single again, or you may be celebrating getting this new job, a new a position, a new raise. Um, you, you maybe your home, some of you guys may be getting your new home or you or or a new car or something. It's something that you are very happy about that you're going to be celebrating, okay, Virgo? Something is coming in for you, okay? And it just could be your peace of mind. It just could be a new lease on life. It could be your your relocation to a different town, a different city, a different, um, a, just a total different location away from this individual. Good Lord, this is something amazing that's coming in, okay? And this is what you want. This is why this person wants to talk to you. They feel that they are losing you. This person can't stop thinking about you neither. This person, like, sees the the uh uh your car driving down the street and they're like running past you wait 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 i gotta talk to you something like that and you're just going on about your business you're going on into you in, into a whole new happy uh side of life for yourself virgo this is something amazing this looks like somebody is trying to hold on to you virgo who knows that it's over okay mm -hmm. you begged and you pleaded for this person to be with you to love you and when you was interested they weren't now that you're not they are Ay, 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 ay. And you guys are moving on. You're moving on to such bliss, happiness, wish fulfillment. You're going to be celebrating something victorious, okay? Maybe a graduation, maybe a new position. Mm. Maybe your business is doing well. Uh huh. Maybe you got this contract that was so difficult to get and you finally got it. You're celebrating something victoriously, okay? And you're so happy about it. You're beyond happy about it, okay? It could be your freedom. It could be your freedom. You couldn't wait to get out of this situation with this person. Maybe this was very unhealthy. Maybe this was very toxic and you just totally couldn't wait to get out of it, Virgo. Whatever it is, whatever this new, new energy is that has come in, and on this sun energy right here, because you know the sun is the most powerful and most positive one card one can get in a read, Virgo. And you guys have it, okay? So whatever this sun energy is that's coming towards you, that you are definitely about to celebrate, you have victory on. You are winning. This is this is a very good read. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Let's try to figure out what you're about to celebrate. Because something is amazing coming. Good Lord, last read, I saw you guys was moving. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the move has taken place. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Come through. Come through. Spirit, can I have some more messages for Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? What's around Virgo right now? You have any more messages? But what is bonus read for Virgo? Want to do a bonus read for Virgo? May I please have some more messages, please? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. We got solar plexus chakra. You guys need to align your chakras, okay? Especially the solar plexus, okay? 
We have the line of chakras. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have fertility. Okay, be careful. Some of you guys may be getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. If you're not birthing a child, if you guys are not pregnant with child, you're definitely pregnant with possibility. Something that you're about to give birth is going to be something amazing. You're about to give birth to something amazing. It's literally your destiny, whatever it is. It's something that you're supposed to do. It's something that you're destined to do, okay? Yeah, be patient, okay? You have to uh, exhibit some patience here. Be, be very patient because this is going to unfold better than you think, okay? You got the sun card there. So you're definitely going to have the outlook that you want, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. And we also have memories of love, okay? So you're constantly thinking about this person as well, mm-hmm. I think you're starting to feel sorry for this person a little bit or something, but you're not really making a move towards them. It's like you could feel how much they, you could feel how sorry they are or something, and you're like, mm, yeah, nice, but it's too late or something like that. You know, you still feel for them. You, 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 you are human. You still feel something, but it's not enough or something like that. Mm. Come through spirit. Now, I don't think it's enough or something like that. Spirit, can I have some more messages using the moon card? The moonology. Can I have some more messages for Virgo, please? Yeah, I don't think it's enough. You're thinking about memories of loving this person or what you did feel with this person. But it's, you know, it's not enough. In other words, the good is not outweighing the bad. Yeah, this person did something to you that you can't forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got prosper prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus, okay? Virgo, you could be dealing with a Taurus here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we just had a, uh, I think we had a full moon in, I think that was full moon in Taurus, full moon in Taurus. Okay, you might have did something that was definitely going to bring you some prosperity. Okay, because it lies ahead, okay? Yeah, you got money coming in towards you. You got blessings coming towards you. You got financial abundance coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Virgo. And it's time to show the world the real you. Stop holding back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Embrace who you are. Speak up for yourself. Don't dull your light to, to make somebody else feel comfortable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on come on out of that uh, comfort zone. All right, come on out the house. Come on out your comfort zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Be seen, be heard. Mm -hmm, yeah, a new start is coming, Virgo. New, new moon, a new start is coming. And it looks like it's coming in with that next new moon. You guys might want to look at the dates on the next new moon. Mm hmm Because something is about to begin for you. Something new. Mm hmm Okay. Confidence is your key to success. Be very confident in what you're doing, okay? Even if you're second-guessing it yourself, do not show that. Don't, don't consume that. Feel it and move through it, okay? Be confident in what you're doing. Know like you know like you know that you do know what you're doing. Whatever it is that you're um, passionate about. Whatever your, your uh, means of... Um, your means of uh, employment is could be your business, could be a nurse, a doctor, teacher, singer, whatever you do. Okay, be confident in what you do. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. We also have luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Okay. All right. This one fell too. Let me take it. Mhm. Mm Let me get this one. All right, this is nothing is set is yet set in stone, okay? So for some of you who are saying, oh, Miss Virgo or the Oracle, I ain't ready to give them up. Well, honey, nothing is set in stone. You might still have a chance to be with them. Mm-hmm. Because the person is coming back to beg, beg, beg for you. This person does want you back. Lord, have mercy. This person is so sorry for whatever they did to you. Mm -hmm. This person is really afraid to lose you. Spirit, can I have some more messages, please, for Virgo? 
Virgos, you guys are going on to something. Uh, okay, you have deception. Okay, this person might have deceived you in some shape or affair. So lied, lied, caught them cheating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Disregard, disrespected you, disregarded you, uh, didn't invest in you or something like that. This is some sort of deception here. Okay, this person might have made promises to you that they didn't keep or had no intentions on keeping with you. You guys are ascending. You ain't paying this shit no mind, though. You're moving on. You're trying to be a better you spiritually, mentally, and physically, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your person may now play a victim. They may act like you hurt them. You did something to them. Be mindful of that. Speak up for yourself. Don't fall for that okie doke. Don't fall for that trick, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this person admires you. This person has a great deal of admiration for you, okay? This person likes to watch you. Mm-hmm. They like your strength. This person likes your comeback. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because you, you guys are very flip at that tongue. Mm-hmm. You always got comeback. You're sharp at it. You're very quick uh, thinking. You're very quick with your thoughts, quick with your mouth, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel like this person might have been wearing a mask with you, and now you see the real them. You might not like what you see or something like that, okay? Yeah, you may have felt this person was not being honest with you, wasn't being truthful to you, with you, okay? Yeah, we got fear. This person may have a little fear when it comes to you or something like that. They might be scared of you. This person might think that you're a little too much for them or something like that, or they don't measure up. They can't keep up or something like that. They can't, you know, hold... They can't hold too much conversation with you or something like that. They, this person is asking you to be patient with them, though. Mm-hmm. Whatever this fear is, this person fears you. Maybe they fear losing you or something like that. And they're asking you to be patient with them. Okay? This person might fear you, period, though. Fear losing you. Uh, fear your, your strength or something like that. Your knowledge or something like that. This person just... Mm, you intimidate the shit out of this person, in other words. This person wants you to have patience with them, okay? They definitely want a union with you. Good Lord. All of a sudden, this person wants you more than life itself. What happened, Virgo? What did you do to them? Because this person wasn't feeling like this with you before. Now that you you uh, you decided that, you okay, okay, you, I'll accept the fact that this isn't going anywhere. Spirit has guided you to move on. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. And now this person is coming back. Baby, baby, please. Baby, baby, please. Mm -hmm. They're coming back with all those baby, baby, please. This person wants you back big time. They can't let this go. They're definitely ready to compromise, okay? This person is so fearful. This was some kind of barrier, though. There was some kind of block that stopped this, this union from going on. The answer is yes to whatever your question is, okay? Yeah, there was some kind of block that was going on. Somebody interfered with this connection or something like that. Somebody interfered with you and this person coming together, okay? Or this person allowed other people to interfere or something like that. You gave up. You got tired. I see you said, I'm leaving. I'm moving on. And honey, now they are about to take action. Lord, you're not going to... You're not going to know this person when they come back with their action. You're not going to recognize them. This person is going to be doing something or saying something they never did or said before or something like that. They're going to show you a new side of them or something like that. And this is somebody who never really shows that kind of action, okay? Because they're emperor energy. They're so used to people flipping over them. This person wants your forgiveness. That's what's going on. This person is, is beating their own self up for something that they said or did to you or something like that. I think this person count you out before they even count you in they didn't expect something out of you or just or expect much from you or something like that okay oh yeah yeah i think this person thought they was better than you at one time very cocky energy you know they are in emperor energy whether they're male or female okay whoever you're here for just very un uh cocky energy you know superior energy or something like that you know I was better than you. I was raised better than you. I grew up in a better neighborhood. I have more money, you know, that type of energy. And they ran into somebody that was very grounded, okay? Had they shit together, and they just wasn't ready for this. They just, Lord, they, no, they wasn't ready for you, no. They, it's some type of competition they tried to put you in. Hmm. Some type of, type of competition, some kind of rival. Some kind of, it's like this person wants to compete with you. It's like this person wants to show you that they're just as good as you or something. What the fuck, Virgo? What is going on? This person don't really want to love you. This person wants to... They want to win. This person that you're with, you could be dealing with a Libra. 
okay? Or Aquarius or Gemini because they like to win. They don't like to lose. This person wants to win. I don't even sure if this person wants you back for real, okay? We got fake friend in reverse, okay? So somebody you thought you couldn't trust, you might, you might can trust, okay? Somebody that you really thought was a shady mf -er. I don't like this nigga. I don't like this girl or something. This this might have been. This might be the only one that really is your friend. Okay, we got masks. Someone is someone is wearing a mask, but you are around a lot of people who's not being honest with you. Okay, but you you have balance. Okay, you see right through this shit. You have balance. You see who's there for you, and you see who isn't for you. Even if this is a fake friend that you thought wasn't a friend at the t as you thought was fake, maybe at the time they were, but uh, now. Since the truth is coming out and everybody's seeing the truth as it really is, this person probably really digs you. And you know who this person is, okay? Mm -hmm. You know who this person is. Oh, shoot. Okay, that fell down there. That's going to stay down there. I'm not going for it. Okay. Okay, we got disturbance. Uh -huh. uh, disputes, exposure, drama, unexpected changes. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like you're just doing a great upset here. You done got balanced in your life and now you're upset in everybody else's life. Good Lord. This is a tsunami. Yeah, they, they can't stay in this change that's in you. Somebody doesn't like this uh, confidence that you're wearing now, this new suit that you're wearing. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Somebody is so busy being fake and phony wearing this mask and you, 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 you know, you're just as, you're just 100% true. You're 100% real. You are who you are. Okay. And this person is like, oh, they know they need to come give you an apology. This person is very sorry. Okay. This person knows they have to give you an apology. They know they have to come and talk to you and say something. Ay, 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 ay. They know they have to come and say something to you. The thing is, will you, okay, watching tarot readings, getting tarot readings, okay, either you or them, somebody's really into tarot, somebody really likes to get some messages from tarot before they bust they move. You guys are manifesting exactly all your wishes, Virgo. You're, you're getting, whatever you're praying for, whatever you're focusing on, you, you're going to get it, okay? You're getting it, hands down. Okay, whatever this is, whatever you're praying for, whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're manifesting, uh -huh, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have seeking advice, help from friends, families, uh, wanting to ask for help, but holding back. Okay, somebody got a lot of pride. Somebody has a great deal of pride, lots of pride. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's very prideful here. You or your person, they want to ask for help. They want to go and uh, talk to somebody that can uh, help them get a breakthrough. But, mm -mm. yeah, we have theft. Be careful. Somebody might be trying to steal something from you. Somebody might think you got it going on. Somebody might think you have money or something like that. It's something that you have that somebody wants. Be careful, okay? They're not going to get it, but just be careful. They're not going to get it, though. Ain't nobody going to get it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, it's somebody that's, sh that's strapped. Stability, lack of financial stability. This is somebody that's broke, okay? And they think you got it going on. They might try to come over and steal your money. He's trying to hang with you, trying to hang come around your house. Uh, be mindful who you let in your circle, okay, Virgo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody that you are going and, and have a conflict over. Somebody thinks that you owe them something, Okay. Mm -hmm. somebody is planning this too. They planning to come and hang out with you or do something with you. This person, you might be me. You might have asked this person to do something with you or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very insecure energy, very insecure energy. You might have asked this person to go somewhere with you or to do something with you. And they said, okay, I'll go, but they're planning something sneaky as fuck. Uh -huh. They're planning to take something from you. Mm -hmm. Cause this person is, this person is not true to you. Okay. This person, you, this person holds a great deal of conflict, anger, bitterness towards you, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's hidden. It's very hidden, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might have gave this person some sort of job with you. you. You're hired. You got a job. Some of you might have already just gotten hired or you just got a job. 
or you're offering this person a job. You're offering this person to work with you because you're very busy, okay? You need help here. Work obligations, career goals. This is somebody that you're going to be working with or you're going to ask somebody to help you at work or something like that. This person is going to try to steal some money from you or something like that. They're going to try to steal something from you because they think you got it all and they're planning this. They're thinking this is going to be a right time to do it or something like that. Maybe some sort of business trip. Maybe somebody that you're taking with you on a business trip because you're very busy, okay, Virgo? Uh, this could be just somebody that you just work with, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And your your contracts is getting, it's more contracts coming in, so you need to hire extra help or something like that. Yeah, you're getting more uh, calls for, your, for whatever services you provide, okay? Yeah, we got obstacles. Obstacles is being cleared, okay? So you're getting ready to do very well here, okay? And this person is going to be very, very jealous, okay? You're in separation from this person who wants to come back with you. That's their problem. This person is mad that you're not talking to them. This person is mad that you don't want to have anything to do with them. Okay. But they're still holding on to your energy. Uh-huh. They're still definitely holding on to your energy. Lord, are they holding on to your energy? Mm, 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 mm. This person won't let you go. Okay. They're thinking on you hard. This person is deliberately thinking on your on you hard because this person wants you to think about them. Okay. This person might try to catch you off guard. This person might try to pop up in the middle of the night, talking about some you up. They might want to try to call you or something like that this person wants to try to catch you off guard okay this person wants to try to catch you when when you're calm and cool and collective or something like that not when you you know ready to cuss them out it ain't gonna work though you're still gonna cuss them out you got the earthquake energy right on top of tsunami okay so they can't they can't catch you sleeping okay mm -mm, mm -mm. we got abuse emotional physical and verbal abuse this person might have been very very toxic to some of you virgos okay to some of you virgos this person could have been very toxic witchcraft energy mm -hmm. somebody can be doing some uh some fuck shit to try to block you or block them and something like that. This this was very dirty, dirty energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have altercation, physical fight, okay? So uh, this person... Mm, 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 mm. This person might try to physically fight you for your attention or whoever they're with, they're constantly fighting, okay? This person might got this witchcraft on them and they're constantly fighting. And this person is trying to run for run to you for ref, refuge and you're just not opening the door. You, you're not having it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this person is stalking the shit out of you with his creepy ass eyeball. Somebody is keeping tabs and watching you. This is why this person is watching you because they possibly could be with a very toxic lover who's walking all over them, very jealous energy. And this person wants to try to get away from that, but they want to make sure that you still, they still have you first or you still interested in them first or something like that. This is the person that they chose over you. This is the person that when you were asking them to be with you, uh, they kept saying, you know, they are, but never showed up or something. They went this direction instead of coming your direction. Well, now they're ready to come your direction and you like, uh, uh, my direction has no direction. Don't come here. Okay. And this person is not having that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person is catching a great deal of karma. Karma is kicking your person's ass. Okay. Karma is really beating this person up. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some sort of... Ooh, the Lord Spirit come through. When I tell you, this is some... This has took... This karma or whatever this connection has took this person to their knees. This person is praying now. You hear me? This person is praying. They're praying to God to get them out this energy that they're in. They're praying to God that you're not done with them. They're praying. They're asking a higher being for help on this one, honey. They said they had to go to top dog. They are praying. This person don't want to lose you. This person know they screwed up. It's like, and everybody's gossiping about it. People are talking about it. Mm -hmm. Gossiping is going on about it. Okay, people know that you're no longer interested with this person, but this person keeps coming at you, okay? Let's see what else we can get. Mm, 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 mm. It's like the shit is hitting the fan, Virgo, and everybody know. Everybody know that this person wants to hold on to your energy and you have moved on or you have a new friend, you have a new boyfriend, or you have a new girlfriend. Everybody know that you're no longer interested in this person and everybody know this person is hooked on you, Virgo. Mm-hmm. Earth signs. I can't make this shit up. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come through spirit. Everybody know that this person wants more of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're, 
you're whole right now. You're focusing on yourself. You feel better about yourself. You're doing you. You have a great deal of responsibilities to attend to. You're making yourself a priority, okay? You're doing you, okay? You don't have time for no other fuck shit. And I think this is the energy that you guys are in when you're putting all that energy that you once put on this person. Now you're putting it into yourself. Some of you are in the military with that responsibility card right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you are just very cold and distant to this individual now. You just have nothing to say to this person at all anymore, okay? We got a third-party situation. Uh, this person might have had you in a third-party situation. This, this was the turn-off. This is what you didn't want to be a part of or something like that. You wanted the family with this person. Some of you got pregnant foot by this person. Some of you guys are having a baby with this person or you already have a child with this person, okay? You viewed this person as family. This person was sneaky as fuck for some of you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For some of you, you you had a baby with this person, but they're very sneaky. You don't you don't trust them. You wanted this family, and this person had you in a third party situation. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This person told you a lot of lies, 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 lies. Right on top of that witchcraft card. Uh huh. <clears throat> this person lied to you, lied to you, lied to you. Mm hmm. Yeah, you guys have no contact with this person right now. Altercation. Mm hmm. Yeah, if some of you feel if this person come anywhere near me, it will be an altercation. This is why this person is watching you too, because there's no contact. They're watching that new energy that you guys are in. You guys are in a whole new different energy right now. You got offers coming, and this person might try to come and bring some offers that you can't refuse. Okay, the holidays is coming up, so they might try to come and um, bring you a, a gift or something like that uh, for holidays or something. They might try to... Um, invite themselves to your house for the holidays or something. Okay, this person is having some sort of realization. This person is starting to realize now what you are or what this connection is with them or something like that. Just just as much as you recognize this connection, so do so do they. They just took a long time to act on it or something like that. But now, since you don't want them anymore, they're gonna start coming back using those terms that you used to use. If you used to tell this person, "Oh, we're twin flames. Oh, you my soulmate. Oh, we have some sort of special." Connection connection some kind of special bond now this person is going to come back and try to use those words on you okay they only heard you say it first so now they're going to try to kind of remind you of it or something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they want to kind of remind you yeah because they're very sorry they want to apologize for that they want to apologize to you this person wants to get back with you okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this person might have had you waiting for so long you might have waited and waited and waited for this person to want you back it never came. You moved on, and now here they come. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you enjoyed my read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. I